All right. Well, folks, tonight we're going to be talking about Amazon FBA, and it's pretty a pretty simple concept. Um, so I can't take credit for it. This is something Mike actually talked about us with in, his, in the private group over a year ago. Um, and it's basically how to start Amazon with you know the least amount of money possible. And um, it, you know he's, he's basically starting it with a hundred dollars. And this is something that I actually implemented. Like I said, I didn't come up with it. I just started doing it. And um, with the the backstory to it is. You know, um, after Christmas last year, the froze not last, you know, you know, year before last, mm -hmm. the the frozen was still outrageous, right, Bill? Yeah, it was. I crazy. mean, going into January, February, March. Yep. <laughs> I think the hammer, the other shoe dropped probably in April. I think so. Yeah, that was when Amazon had had uh, restricted it. Yeah, Amazon started restricting mm -hmm. it. Disney finally caught up with with more supply. And mm -hmm. at the same time, Amazon dropped the hammer and they just restricted the category. So, yeah. and a lot of us, I mean, we had rode that train for so long, we weren't even sourcing anything. <laughs> <laughs> it was a long, long train. <laughs> we were sourcing, we were, it was like, it was like anything with Elsa's face on it was just like instant money. And then it got to a point where a lot of us, that's all we were sourcing, right? So then, you know, at the end of that, that run, you have this money, and then you just like, okay, now what do I do? <laughs> what do I do now? Because I still got to make a living, and uh, you know the stuff I usually been sourcing, I, I haven't been getting no replenishables, the other stuff. You know, it's just basically me and frozen. Yeah. So uh, Mike started talking up this thing, like taking your money and taking it. it, it I say with a hundred dollars, he said basically start a hundred, but you can start any amount of money, and it's basically how to roll it over, right? Um, and the way he, the way he described it and the way I did it is you start with an amount and the least you want to get a return on, like at the, the minimum, you want to get at least a 30% return on your money, every payout, mm -hmm. right? That's, um, how I'm talking about was starting with a hundred bucks, right? Have you ever, have you done something like this before, Bill? Have you heard about that? Uh, I've heard about it. I've never really, really done it. I mean, you know, I started this business with $300. So, I mean, that was my main, <laughs> that was my main test <laughs> when I started off, but I've never really done a separate challenge or, you know, take it and decide, you know, see what I could do with a hundred bucks. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, so. it's, it's pretty amazing because you think about too, what, where can you go when you give somebody your money and in two weeks you get a 30% return on it? You know what I'm saying? Right. Where right. else can you do that? You know? Mm -hmm. And that's how Mike explained it to everybody. And it actually got what Mike just jumped in. What's up, Mike? And, you know, that's how Mike explained it to everybody. And that's how I implemented it. And that's how I was able to have a bankroll for last Christmas because I set aside a money and I actually did it with a hundred dollars. And I set it aside and I roll, I kept, you know, I, I I took it and whatever was it was if it was it was, I just did it with a 30%, right? So it was a hundred, then after the first payout, it was 130. Then I just take you take that whole amount. And you reinvest it, right? Yep. You keep rolling it over until you get to your end point, right? Um, like I did some numbers here. Like if you were to like if you were to start with a hundred dollars, right? You like I, I don't have any money. Um, there's plenty of stuff you can buy where you can get at least a thirty percent return, on, right? And this is this is something else you got to throw out the window. You got to throw out all of these these uh, flashy catch words that you hear with Amazon. Um, at least have fifty percent of your money. Uh, the three 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 rule. Um, only sell things is not more than 20 you got to throw all of that out of your head because yep. what only thing you're focusing on is your bottom line you know your net profit that's it and you want to make sure that it, it, at, at the least you know you're going to be reinvesting that 30 percent every payout and that's mm -hmm. just completely reinvesting it um like I said, I did some numbers right and it's like you know genuine you know it's, it's low at the beginning you know how you do with any savings it's real low right Yep. And uh, once you hit August, you know, you start with $100. Once you hit your August payout, you should have, you know, about six to $7,000 payout. Now, mm -hmm. the, the thing that they got tricky when I did it is when you get to that amount of money, right? <laughs> <laughs> when you get to a point where you're getting payout to $7,000 plus, right? Yeah. Um, that's when you have to really change your game. 
that means you're not going to the thrift stores because you have to spend that amount of money in like days, three, four, 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 four or five days at the most. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> what do you think about that challenge, Bill? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's, uh, you know, that's different from going to five thrift stores in a day where you might spend maybe a hundred bucks. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, it's a totally different mindset, totally different mentality. Yeah, it's a di- cause the problem I came up to when I had when I when I had a bigger payouts was being able to spend that residual money. Cause that cause that when you get to that amount, that money is your spending money. You I mean this is more you I mean you're doing more than that, but this is the amount of money you have to spend in your payout, right? Your payout to, yeah. to keep keep the money flowing, right? So that's when you have to start looking at other avenues. You have to uh, you have to look at, um, you know, uh, eBay, online arbitrage. Um, what else? <laughs> eBay, online arbitrage, uh, wholesalers, <laughs> uh, pools, you know, stuff like that. Um, right. Because uh, you, you want to roll them out as money as much as possible. But mm-hmm. people say, like, how do I start? The thing is, how do I start Amazon? with only a hundred dollars right yeah bill how do you get that first few payments rolling because i went i went all the way to the end <laughs> <laughs> I, like you, you you start with a hundred you'd be like i need to get a third i, I want to get a, like a 30 percent return on my money mm-hmm. what would you what would you say what would you tell them tell someone to do starting off like that well i would definitely look at items that are uh that have a great rank yeah um something that's definitely. low um, and, and again, how that works, if there's people in here that don't know, the lower the rank, the better. That just means that they're selling and they're, you know, like a thousand's better than a hundred thousand ranking. At a thousand, mm-hmm. they're popping pretty good. You know, if it was a thousand electronics, it's selling really well. Um, hundred thousand, you know, might take a few days to set, to sell at that. Uh, so you'd definitely want to focus and hone in on that lower rank so that you can get that items sold and you can get that payout quicker or those items sold and the, and that payout quicker and i would repeat that process for a while until exactly. you you know until you build up that bankroll and then you can start to do like an 80 20 hey 80 percent i want to i want to you know get that quick return and 20 percent can kind of sit for a couple weeks mm-hmm. or a month and it might bring me a higher dollar yeah. Um, so that that's kind of the strategy that I would start with is scoping out and educating myself in that area of products. Now, Friar Way, he has a question. He said, where do you find $100 worth of products? Now, you can go through $100 really quick, mm-hmm. you know, doing retail arbitrage. And that's basically what we're talking about doing, right? With, with you just have $100, we're talking about doing retail arbitrage because you could do the thrift store out. But you want you you if you find something you want something that you can sell pretty quick. A lot of thrift store finds are good. Don't get me wrong, but a lot of them are a little longer tail. And if you only have a hundred dollars to spend, you really want to go with something that has a, a, a slow, fast moving rate. Um, the best things you can buy, let's say, if you only had a hundred dollars to your name, <laughs> mm-hmm. is groceries. You know, health, personal care, because those those things move like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The, the, when you got a low, when you got a rank of 20K, um, and let's say a, a, a specific shampoo or a lotion, that, that's selling. Yeah. Bam, 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 bam. You know what I'm saying? You got something that's 20K in groceries, it's going to go pending, like, it's, you know, pretty pretty soon after it checks in. You know, um, and, and that's do, someone that. And do, and do you feel like a monkey in a cage going nuts because all your stuff sold within three, four days? <laughs> Which is exactly right. but then you gotta wait yep. for that for that payout you know you, you get that payout every two weeks i didn't mean to interrupt it, scott but no no it's fine it's just this is it's like this isn't like a, it's not it's definitely not because i'll say like doing a 30 percent return it's definitely not a get rich quick mm-hmm. thing you know it's not you, you, you unless you i don't know find a hundred dollar a hundred one dollar items that sell for a thousand dollars 
you know, then maybe you can turn a hundred to a thousand a month. Mm-hmm. But the process with Amazon is to is to slowly build up your money. It's like it's like a snowball. You're pushing a little ball of snow down the hill, yep. and it's slowly building up as you know it gets down and go faster and faster. And that's how your year usually goes with Amazon. You know, if you're starting off, because that's how it started with me, starting off from the beginning. Like I said, I had a little extra push because of the frozen ridiculous shit phenomena that went on. <laughs> <laughs> You know, the people that started in, they had a really big head start. Mm-hmm. But you know, it's it's you know, most people start, it's real modest. You know, mm-hmm. I got I got a hundred dollars, I have five hundred dollars, I have a thousand dollars. And the the thing you want to do is you want to take your money and you want to put it in something that you can move it fast. Um yep. you know, that's what I was said about this, but I, I mean like I've done it. Um we probably talk about it, you know, like you know, like super, super in detail on you know, like all the nuts and bolts of it uh you know in a in, in you know another blab or whatever but it's basically just like a 30 percent return on your money you know you want to you not saying that you only going to make you know 30 percent right but you want to make sure that you are reinvesting that amount each each pay cycle and you want to make sure that you get that stuff bought because then you get in the habit of stuff of that and getting the money spent and just using that money as your your bankroll you know, yeah. like when I get a payout, I have a set amount in my head. I have a set amount in my head how much I need to spend every day, every week, every month to make the amount of money I need to survive month to month to month <laughs> to month. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you know, once you get to, once you get to that point, you 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 know you can use a different different strategy. But I think all of us that do it full time, we know how much we have to spend every day, mm-hmm. every week every month, every year to make the amount of money we need to survive and take care of our families. Right. Um, but, you know, you, you can't start off like that. Uh, if you got, if they only got a hundred dollars to spend, you got to, ugh, you got to diversify like that. You got to be like, I'm, I'm going to commit to doing this and roll it, roll it, roll, right. it, roll, it, roll, it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. Now, Scott, what, what would you say to those that are just getting started? And uh, now, you know, unlike when we started, there's all these categories that are gated. You know, Joseph makes a great point in the chat. I, I missed it. It scrolled up. But I think he was talking about, you know, those that are new, they can't necessarily do grocery or health and beauty. Um, where would you where would you recommend that they would start as far as a, a category to really look at? Um, I would say the kitchen category because the kitchen home improvement is the second largest category behind books. Um, and the ranks there are kind of misleading because you'll see them and they kind of like, they're kind of like book rankings. Mm-hmm. I mean, you'll see some that's ranked hundred K, but it's selling two or three a day. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because it's so many, you know, it's so much, so much products in that category is huge, you right. know? So, um, I wouldn't have, I don't know. It's, it's hard to say with the, if you're going to be committed and you're like, I'm going to do this as a business. And I'm really want to do it. I would say get ungated in groceries and health and beauty as soon as you possibly can. You know what I'm saying? Because those are the those are the those items in that category are are like the uh, it's like the foundation of your business on Amazon. Mm-hmm. It is a it is like your your this is where people you hear people talk about replenishables and fast moving products. All of that stuff is in those categories. Those the replans. They're in grocery and health and beauty. These are the things people buy every day. These are the things people subscribe to Amazon to buy. They subscribe to Amazon to buy soap and lotion and deodorant and toothpaste and toothbrushes and detergent and, you know, just on and on and on and on and on. Mm -hmm. But you have to have, you have to have that base with it. And you can't really build a base on electronics. Mm -hmm. You know, I guess you could. (laughs) You could have some, uh, if you was able to get like, 50 dvd recorders a day or something ridiculous like that but the the you want to have you basically a business you want to have those those quick moving you know the profit the profit versus volume things you want to have the volume items in those categories right move, 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 move. so um it's gonna just br- it's gonna bring you more residual you yeah know, over lot, time it will i mean i do well with electronics but a lot of them are clearance or one-offs you know that kind of thing um, which isn't sustainable in the long run, even though you can make a lot of money quickly if you happen to hit a good clearance. But definitely your replenishables, that's those items that you buy consistently and send in consistently every week. 
that's really where you make your bank. Okay, far as I, I got set up with uh, e distribution, looking for profit margins. Don't don't, but don't remember seeing anything like thirty percent. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, you you want to be at that range, you know? You really don't want to go less than thirty percent on Amazon. And I'm not, you know, I, you know, you, like I said, you are other people with these other rules and things, but. 30% overall, you know, is a, is a good, is a good profit margin to mm -hmm. be at, you know, it's, 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 it's kind of where you really want to be as far as making money. I mean, most, most big box stores, what do you, what do you think they work on? 10%, you know, you know, like how much do you think they really make money selling PlayStation 2, 4s, yeah. I'm sorry, Xbox ones. They don't yeah. make money on that stuff at, at Walmart. Yeah. You know, they, they make their money, like I said, on, the shit that people buy every day, you know, mm -hmm. the bread and the soap and the lotions, you know, Walmart don't really make money on those big ticket items that people come in there and buy. Yeah. And I, if you think about it like that with your, with your business, you know, that's how you want your business. Yeah. You can make money off these one offs, one off here, one off there, one off there, you know, a couple of big ticket items there, mm -hmm. but with the, the Amazon is, is a volume beast. Mm -hmm. You want to get into the volume game, you know, soon. Because one offs are not gonna sustain you as a business model, if that makes sense. Yep, sure does. <laughs> right on. <laughs> it's really not gonna. It's really not gonna sustain you. Yeah. So, uh, see someone said Amazon FBA business model said, "What do you say?" I'm sorry. It said, "It's not for everybody. It is complicated." Yeah, I mean, it's like any business. I mean, it's any any if you if you run it like a small business, it's not really that complicated. Mm -hmm. You know, it's definitely if you're going from, let's say you want to be an eBay seller, you want to go to Amazon, it's, it's two different animals. So you like we've, we've preached this a lot of times before is that, you know, if you want to be on Amazon, you have to treat it like a business. Mm -hmm. It has to be you have to have a business plan, a business model, how you want to do things from day one. You know, you can't half ass it and just jump in. And be like, oh, I want to sell on Amazon. Let me box up these books and these catch up and send it in. And see what the fuck happens. You can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> you can't do that. You have to. You have to have a plan. Mm -hmm. You have to have a plan on what you're gonna do. <laughs> see, yeah, so many people do that. They do. So many people do that. Cherry <laughs> Ventures. I'm glad you were here. Thanks for jumping in. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're wondering why am I getting this ketchup back a year later? Yeah, exactly. You know, people just throw stuff in a box and be like, yeah, send off oh. Amazon. <laughs> it's crazy it's crazy 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 but yeah you gotta have a plan you know with anything with a business you have to have a plan uh you know plan of attack how you want to do it how you want to where you want to be in a year two years three mm -hmm. years four years and um this this plan that i'm talking about is something that mike you know i'm not gonna steal mike's thunder but something that mike has talked about with us and not you know in the private group a lot is is you know having a bankroll when you are a a reseller you need to have your picking fund you know what i'm saying you have mm -hmm. to set aside money for that i mean a good example for that today is that i mean i went to walgreens right and while i was there i actually just went there to buy you know uh i went, I went to buy a pop and some magic erasers <laughs> to clean some stuff <laughs> and the managers were in there just marking they marked down was marking out stuff in the aisle just like Stuff that was nine ninety nine is marking down to ten cents, you know, twenty cents, you know, eighty nine cents, fifty cents. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. I had the money to buy the stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because you know you gotta have, you need to, because you know if you don't, it, it, nothing sucks worse than you can get a deal, but you don't have the money to get the deal. You know what I'm saying? Like you yeah. know it's a deal. But you can't be like, okay, am I going to eat or I'm going to buy this? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know, you don't want you don't want to have to ever make no decisions like that. You don't so, want you, know, you don't want to have to explain to the wife why you're not eating that night. That's, that's... Like, but it was such a great deal. <laughs> <laughs> I can't eat with Star Wars toys. <laughs> but it, it's it's one of those things where um, if you do it slow. You know, and I've been in those situations where I mean, like, damn, I mean, I only got a hundred bucks. You know, I can't go as deep as I would like to. But ah, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, that's funny. Cherry said the fried. We were talking about fried bologna, and only like three people knew what it was. Nobody had a fried bologna in, in here. I don't even think Mike ate it. I was talking about fried bologna, uh -huh. eggs, and everybody was talking about I was crazy. <laughs> everybody was looking like I was crazy. Yeah, I was talking about the bologna. Get the booty on it. <laughs> You know, everybody was like, what? Baloney? What? The booty? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you know, bust out, you got to bust out the baloney. You get a good deal. Mm -hmm. But like anything, this is this is something that grows. You know, if, you, yeah. if you're starting off with limited budget, it is so, so possible to, to start off with a small amount of money on Amazon and grow it into large amounts of money. Mm -hmm. You have to be patient. You know, you can't, you know, you got to think it through. Got to make good buys. Yep. You know, um, that's critical in the beginning, too. I mean, yeah, it's, it's critical at any juncture, but especially in the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, definitely in the beginning. You have to make really good buys in the beginning. Stuff that you're going to be able to take your money and flip it, you know, flip it quickly. And you and then like you be able to put money aside. You know, it's nothing better than when you, you you reach plateaus in this type of thing. You starting off, you know, you reach a plateau and you're like, man, I paid all my bills, I got all my inventory, and I got a little bit of spending money left. <laughs> <laughs> That's you know, right. you, start, you get to that plateau, you're like, man, I got spending money. Mm -hmm. I got my bills to pay, my you know all this stuff. And then you got money, you got money, you're like, man, I'm going, I'm going to go buy some steaks or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but you get to these plateaus like that, you know, yeah. then when you get to a point where you you, you, you uh, keep making that same amount, you're like, and you expand a little bit, you might take a little head in your pocket, mm -hmm. but then you get another plateau and then you got more spending. When you're like, man, I'm back and I've got another plateau, I guess, you know, mm -hmm. it's, 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 that's the, I think that's the best part about being a small business owner. You know, with something like this, because your growth, it's it's no limitation on how much you can grow. You can bust your ass and work and work and work and work. And you're still making whatever you make it per hour, whatever you make it per year. Wow. Right. You know, but you bust your ass and bust, 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 and you see the results in your bank account. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And I, I mean, that's what I love so much. What do you think about that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, you you know, you want to see that bankroll grow, and I would just encourage people, you know especially if you're just starting off, you're not established, really discipline yourself to put that money away. Really mm -hmm. discipline yourself to expand that bankroll and get it growing as fast as possible. Because the faster you do that, um, you know, the bigger your business is going to grow and it's going to grow that much faster. And mm -hmm. more opportunity comes your way when you have the cash to uh, make good on those decisions. You know, if you don't have the cash, you can't make good on that decision and uh, you lose out. So you want to build it as fast as you can, but do it smart. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fast as you can, but smart, not reckless abandon. Uh, there are people that talk about, you just need to go just completely all in, spend all your money, buy this one thing, go deep and you're good to go. Don't do that stuff. You know, um, you want to build that bankroll as fast as possible. But you want to do it smart, do good research, triple check before you buy, I would say. Always triple check, make sure the ranking, make sure Amazon's not in on the product themselves. You know, do your due diligence and mm -hmm. then make an informed decision and uh, you will be okay. But it's yeah. when you make decisions without thinking, um, that's where you're going get to get in trouble and get burnt. So. Yep, and um, let's see. He said, let me see a couple people ask a couple questions. Let me go up. Let me scroll. The fryer he did say he said that's the he basically was saying that's the, that's what that's like. You want to find at least something with thirty percent. That's the like the secret sauce. And then and that's how Ken he said some back. He said that you know it's thirty he had thirty percent everyone. He's right. A a lot of a lot of things you're going to find are going to be at least a thirty percent return. You know. Mm -hmm. <sighs> You know, and it's 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 it it depends on what you want to do. Like Mike, like not Mike, sorry. Like Bill said, it has to be research involved. Also, mm -hmm. um, you know, how much you willing to spend? You know, is this is this does this make sense to you? Does this buy make sense to you? Is it within your wheelhouse? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? 
you know, you need to look at those type of things when you're buying it, you know, because it might make sense to me and Bill, but it might not make sense to you, you know. Right. You know, maybe what we're saying tonight don't make sense to what you say. <laughs> if, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? When we're saying this and somebody's like, I, these, these dudes are fucking out of their mind. This doesn't make no sense to me. <laughs> That's okay. Because if it doesn't make sense to you, you don't need to do it. You yeah. know, it may, yeah. not, may not be something that works for you. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, but yeah, I mean, it's it's 30% deals are, are everywhere. And I'm not talking about clearing stuff. I'm talking about everyday items yep. that you can go scan and it's 30%. It's a 30%, at least a 30% return. Profit. Net. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Net profit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you're, you're, after everything, you get back that. Yeah. Um, so, so I mean, it's, it's, it's stuff like that. And like I say, you don't need a million dollars to do this. You know, you don't really need all of that. All you really need you know, it's a few dollars, um, a lot of passion, you know, and, you know, some research. <laughs> Lots of research. <laughs> well, you know what I'm saying? Lots of research, mm-hmm. you know, because it helps. It does help. It does help a lot. Yeah. You know, and it's 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 stuff like that. It, it, it does work, you know, and, and like to see people talking about, some of the uh, you know the flea markets and stuff like that, thrift stores, yeah, you know that stuff. That stuff will get you over. You know, a lot of people, you know, Mike, Mike too. He he talks about you know thrifting as a way to start. Mm-hmm. It's nothing wrong with that. You know, some stuff you may have to wait up on. You know, with the thrift. You know, sometimes you hit home runs all the time with the thrift. So I you know I know people that do it all the time. Yeah. Makes me jealous because I find I don't hit home runs every day. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these people, boy, they like the golden child. They just walk into the goodwill and this mm-hmm. shit just fall in their cart. 200, right. 100, 55. Yep. I spent $6. I'm out of here. I made 500. <laughs> right. You know, the rest of us, you know, we find stuff. I may find a good, some good one. I mean, something that's out of not out of the park good, like once a week. You know, to be honest, mm-hmm. once a week I find something that's just crazy, and I'm like, oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But but you know, at the thrift stores, I find, I find you know regular stuff every day, stuff that just keep the keep the ball rolling. That's that, it. I mean, <laughs> that's the bread and butter. It's it's yeah. really not. It's not like the TV shows where they're showing. You know, they went into a thrift store and they grabbed these eight items and the, and their home run items. Man, it doesn't work like that. It's the everyday grind. It's, you know, you mm-hmm. find those profitable items that are in your knowledge bank. And you know what? Every once in a while, you're going to hit that triple. You're going to hit that home run. You know, Definitely. you're, you're going to get a few, R, you know, uh, RBIs in. And, uh, you know, those are those are just the icing on the cake, man. But the real cake is that foundation, which is the stuff you're gonna see every day that you know you can make money on. Mm-hmm. Every every day you, you see those things, mm-hmm. and uh, it's it's pretty cool. You know, it's just, you know that's a whole other research thing. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> it is. Yeah. You know, because you know you could, some people going to thrift store like oh, I don't see anything. You know, other people like other people going. Like I said, they like they just go in, they just grab, they just touch the stuff and just throw it in their buggy. Like ah, this money, 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 money. You know, uh-huh. grabbing the wick, the wicker baskets. <laughs> I still want to know if anybody ever makes money off them damn wicker baskets. <laughs> I, know. I bought one. I bought one, uh, and I ended up uh, pitching it. <laughs> yeah, it's like oh, it's always an owl of wicker baskets, and it was a vintage one, nonetheless. But do you think I could sell it? I couldn't even sell it at a garage sale. Unbelievable. Ah, think that. You know what? I'm going to buy them, and I'm going to um, put them in my mystery Etsy store. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, could put all your, you could put all the other goodies right in the basket. Well, you know what? I, yeah, I'm going to buy them, and I'm going to put, uh, put all the T-shirts in the wicker baskets. <laughs> and I'm going to be like, one person will get the shirt and the basket. <laughs> I was trying to help the goodwill out, man. That's There's so right. many wicker baskets in that aisle. So many baskets. And if I start buying them, they might like me. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? If I go in there every day and I'm buying three or four book of baskets, like, damn, this dude is buying all the baskets. Yeah. See, I just gave away a million dollar idea, Ron Bellam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Nobody uh, steal my idea. Nobody steal my idea. <laughs> come in here on Friday and everyone will talk about their wicker baskets. I know everyone come on Friday, like, I got this wicker basket idea, and everybody will talk about my wicker baskets. <laughs> but, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, nobody been here before. I I'll, I'll be, I'll always talk about I'm gonna do a mystery Etsy store. And most people say I'm retarded or crazy for talking about it. Talking it's gonna be an epic fail. <laughs> I personally I've I've seen big sellers do it, yeah. and it's very successful people doing it on Etsy. So I'm going to try it. So you know, if it fails, it fails. Hmm. At least I try, right? That's right, man. You gotta try. <laughs> yeah, <gotta> try stuff. <laughs> yeah, Cherry. I saw people talk about it. like somebody was saying that before about the wicker basket when I was talking about it's not worth money. But I think most of these are like the kind you get for Easter. <laughs> the Easter ones <laughs> with the plastic eggs in them. Yeah, <laughs> most of them the Easter basket. <laughs> See, now I'm gonna look. Like she said, it was gonna someone was selling for two hundred. Now, now my my thrift store OCD is gonna make me look through the wicker baskets when I go tomorrow. Thanks oh a lot, Cherry. I could even, even give one away. <laughs> Yep. Thanks a lot. Now I'm going to be looking through the wicker baskets. Oh, <laughs> well, at the end. Anyway, I digress. You get us to come out. I got out talk. Bill, it's all your fault. Dude, how did we head to Easter already? Oh, my oh, God. No. It's not even we Halloween got, yet. We got King Four and Halloween and Thanksgiving, and we're already uh, <laughs> talking Easter baskets. <laughs> <laughs> no man, <laughs> crazy. I'm like, look at that guy looking through the wicker baskets. <laughs> I'm gonna periscope it tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I digress. Okay, back to this original topic. I'm sorry, but uh, we get yeah. FBA. <laughs> you can start it that with with very minimal money. Seriously. Um, you know, but uh, it's with today, today stuff. Yeah, the low hanging fruit stuff from from two and a half years is mm -hmm. gone. You know, that's yep. gone. And um, you really, you know, 30, 30, 40 to 50 percent return on your money is pretty much what you're going to get from retail arbitrage these days. Mm -hmm. You know, some stuff is going to, it is going to, it's going to be like knock out a part good. But, you know, that is pretty much the range you're going to be in 30 to 50 percent mm -hmm. for doing big box sourcing. Um, but it's it's a good quick way to turn your money, you know, because you want if you get approved in those categories, it's you're gonna you're gonna get selling those stuff really good, right? So like I mean, going back to what Joe said, you really want to um you know, like Joe was saying about people that are starting off, but yeah, you really want to get into those categories as quickly as possible. It's not mm -hmm. that hard to get ungated in them. It's a little bit harder than it used to be, and they do scrutinize it a little bit more, but it's still a simple process. It's not as difficult as clothing, you know, but you can still do it. <laughs> Joe says to the Griff City. <laughs> Joe, <laughs> Joe is the Griff equivalent of Amazon. <laughs> He's definitely the Griff equivalent. He said, no, I'm better. <laughs> But see, Steve said one thing I would say about starting FBA is doing is don't think you have to get a lot of supply. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. another thing. Great point, Steve. That is another thing, and I see that a lot. And I should have brought that up earlier. Thank you for bringing that up. Is that you know I I see people, especially I see people in the resellers roundtable, is that they consistently you know they 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 want to get the impulse seller and uh, the poly bags and the and, you know the dymo printer and you know. Fucking some scoreless uh, the scan fold and uh, I mean they want to they spend these a thousand dollars they're like all right now I'm ready to do Amazon mm -hmm. <laughs> I got my boxes I got my Dymo I got my cordless scanner yep. I got my Bluetooth 
I got my I got my impulse silhouette and I got all these stuff and now I'm ready. And you already spent a thousand dollars before you even start on Amazon, you know. So yeah, I would say so. I would say take that, and I think we've talked about this before, Scott. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, take it one step at a time. I know one of the things that I did is as my business became more profitable and there was more in that profit column, then I could reward myself with an impulse sealer or, you know, a certain type of poly bag that I wanted or whatnot, instead of going out and rushing and buying all that stuff. So I would say as your business, as your profit margin uh, grows with your items and you're putting more money away and the business is healthy, then you can go, okay, I'm going to this week buy one item and put that towards my FBA business. And, you know, maybe it's two, two weeks later or a month later, you're buying your next item. Uh, that's how I'd recommend to do it. Yeah, of course. Holy crap. We got a, we got a, a we got a, a, a missing persons sighting in the chat. <laughs> what? Johnny Johnny Goodbye oh or something. Oh, wait, hold up. Let me let me, let me clear wipe my eyes. Wait. Holy crap. <laughs> wow. Uh, in and made a comment and everything. Johnny Goodbye is in the house, folks. I don't know that's uh Jeff. I don't know who that is. <laughs> What's up, dude? Wow. <laughs> Just came out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, what's up? <laughs> no, man. That's but, awesome. Uh, he, 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 he still don't have impulse. I know we, we used to make fun of Jeff. You know, he, he didn't have impulse silver. I don't even think he used labels. He didn't use labels or anything. Just like, I don't, use, I don't need none of that stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, Jeff, I'm, talking like, I'm talking about the mail and sticky label. Nah, the, yeah, I still use 30 up. Or like I was talking about the, like, the sticky labels, like the, the postage labels, uh -huh. those. Like, yeah. yeah. 30 up in the house. <laughs> I still use 30. I still use 30 up. So I don't have I use 30 mind. up. I'm not I'm not embarrassed to say it. I use it. Yeah, I still use my 30. I don't have I still use a printer. I don't have a 30. I don't have a dime. Meyer Meyer ink's really cheap, man. Yep. Especially especially I, I started thinking about like getting something more expensive. And then I'd be like, nah, I'd rather go buy some beer. <laughs> 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 that's awesome <laughs> you know what i'm saying but you know what i mean maybe one day i'll get a dymo printer so i can feel like i'm in the cool kids club <laughs> maybe one day maybe i'll buy me one for christmas <laughs> yeah yeah look, look at you goodbyes call out this is a roseville high school t-shirt <laughs> look at that Johnny Goodbyes, the man, the man, the myth, the legend, schooled me on vintage tees a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> calling out, calling out what I had on. That's what's up, man. It, it is actually it's a screen stars too, so it's, it's pretty, it's a pretty cool, sexy 50 50. Nice. <laughs> so, um, yep. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, you don't need all that stuff to get started. No. You can just do it. Bam. Let's get started. <laughs> So yeah, just get started. Just just do it. Like Nike. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. You won't regret it. You won't regret, you won't regret it. it. All right. We we look we 42 minutes in. I want to thank everybody that's coming in tonight. Some of the people that come in and support us every time. Got Meg in the house. Mm. Meg always coming by. Meg ain't Meg got a work fries so she can't jump in for the Friday night shenanigans show. <laughs> <laughs> she'll be here in spirit though she'll be here in spirit <laughs> <laughs> no hopefully the hopefully the conversation don't go down that road again that was a weird conversation <laughs> the friday bill I'm, I'm so glad we don't record the friday show we just it just went all the way all yeah, the, off the chain. sounds like i always miss miss all the excitement <laughs> <laughs> just went all the way left field it was so ridiculous <laughs> that's what happens when you you drink your beer and you just go into random topics all night and then yeah. stuff just go crazy <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah so so thank you for people jumping in mm -hmm. um if you haven't you can follow one of us can we do these shows tuesday tuesday wednesday nights now thursday is um football night now 
And then Friday we do a off the record show. We do talk about reselling, but it's a little more laid back and a lot more cussing and drinking at his ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, all of these blabs are recorded. You can watch the replays. Mm. You can watch the replays. Um, only one I don't record that's a replay is the Friday show. We just talk about too much stuff to, to record it. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> you know, I don't. It's just ridiculous. So, uh, so the Friday show is never on the record. But all of these other ones are there. You, you go to my um my profile, yeah, and you'll see all the replays. All the replay, so it's pretty cool. And most of all of them, I think they're good content. We talk about the dog, we talk, we've been on here a month and a half, and we've been talking about a lot of a lot of good topics, a lot of great topics. I will be, I, think. I will be right back. A quick okay, Bill. We've been, we've talked about a lot of a lot of great topics since we started, I think. And, um, you know, we're just trying to give people some info to build these candy. <laughs> He got to go poop. He'll be back. <laughs> yes, yeah, Steve. Come on. You got to get on the show on Friday, man. We have a lot of fun. You know, uh, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to do craft beer again or we're going to actually do mixers again. I'm, I want to do I We still didn't do the mixers because I didn't get a chance to get all the stuff to make old fashions. But I have all the stuff now. So I'm going to be uh, I'm gonna be drinking old fashions this Friday. Drinking old fashions and talking uh, old style. No, nah, I can't drink. I can't mix old old style with uh. I can't mix old style and Kentucky bourbon. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> we get Mike to drink some old style. I don't even think they got old style in Arizona. To be honest with you, yeah. I say get Mike to drink old style. I don't even think you have. Yeah, I, don't think, I was like, I don't even have old style by him. I bet they got some steel reserve though. He'll drink that. <laughs> uh, get some steel reserve, boy. <laughs> He's a bad sales week, man. Yep, yeah, bad sales week. We drinking forties of steel reserve on Friday <laughs> and, box, and boxes of wine. <laughs> I can get you guys some free blaps that's been in a shed for about two years. Oh my god. You want some of that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so my stomach just said, oh no. <laughs> no, man. But yeah, so we're gonna have some we're gonna have some fun Friday. I don't know what we're gonna talk about. We gotta pick a crazy topic to start off with. And then we just we just go from there. That's how I usually go. So you know, so people join in. It's pretty cool. So, um, but yeah, Tuesday and Wednesday is always on topic. Until right now, until I got completely off topic. But uh, <laughs> it's uh actually we got a few minutes. Um, I, we do want to talk to you guys that's in here um, about some some things that we have going on. You know, coming up in in the near future, and um, it's something like I don't know if, you, if the people that were in here Friday. They, we were talking about um, Pick for Profit, you know, Mike's private um, Facebook group. Facebook group, actually private group, is just an ex Facebook group is just an extension. Mm -hmm. And um, actually he's going to be opening it up, um, opening up his, opening up the Facebook group, with the group in general. I keep calling it, my, it's, keep calling it a damn Facebook group. It's not a, just a Facebook group. He's opening up the group. Um, and it's, it's basically just like, like I said before, it's just a mastermind group where we talk about, you know, our sourcing and, you know, all the stuff like that. Um, also what we, we're going to be rolling out is, um, it's a sourcing group that's in conjunction with pick for profit. Um, because of the, 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 the what's coming up with the, um, the holidays and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, and basically in, um, what it is is that it's going to be stuff that we buy, you know, we because we're all full time resellers, right? Um, and we're going to be sharing, yeah, you know, bolos, not really bolos, sourcing tips with with other people, with the people, people that we buy stuff that we buy with people that are, you know, in the group. Um, it's going to be a secret group. Will be a paid group. 
you know, uh, because it is something that we're sharing, we're sharing our time and some, you know, things we're selling, you know, with, with people. So, I mean, especially for people that, you know, like, I don't know what to buy. <laughs> I don't know where to start. Um, you'll be able to see things that we're actually sourcing. You said open up, open it up where it'd be, it's, it'd be affordable, Jenny, and open it, open it up big for profit up to more members. That's what I mean. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, both, I'm, I miss, I miss are, what you said. Both are paid groups. Mm -hmm. Yeah, both are paid groups. But yeah, it's, uh, I know we he was in here on Friday. We talked a little bit about it. Um, but if you you know want to know more about pick for pick for profit specifically, you can message Mike um, about it. Uh, he'll talk to you more specifically about that. The uh, other group, because being a pick for profit, you get access to all of the stuff. You know, all of the stuff that you know we've done for in pick for profit. Um, you know, Mike's this the group the sourcing group. Um, you know, Mike's guides, the NES guide that he made, you know, um, the, you know, we, he does a Black Friday thing every Black Friday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I just said the same thing, that's so ridiculous. He does a Black Friday webinar every Black Friday before <laughs> Black Friday, excuse me. And it's also a, um, an Amazon tracker that we, we've been doing the last couple of years where we as a, a, a group a mastermind group um we track just about every toy <laughs> in a selling on amazon and we it only works because we're doing it as like a group so basically that's what mike's uh yeah the hot toys i'm yeah. sorry yeah all, not every toy because that would be just ridiculous a, a million a million list of fucking <laughs> spreadsheet list sorry thank you mike <laughs> all the hot toys <laughs> Uh, yeah, every toy, every toy ever existed, we're tracking it. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, imagine that. That'd be we do. I have to hire a VA for that. <laughs> Help me track a million toys. But yeah, it's yeah. all of that plus the sourcing group. But then, but it's it's two separate entities. We're gonna have the, uh, the sourcing group of people that just want to do that, and also um, the pick for profit group, which would be more like a mastermind group with you know it'd be uh, us people that's in it and you know different that so i guess it all depends on where you want to where you are in your business where you want to grow you know some people just want the tips to buy you know what do i buy what do i need to buy and, and the thing about it is too is it's, it's a it'll be it's stuff that you know maybe it's something that you see is maybe not the right buy for you but it'll lead you down the rabbit hole to the right buy that's for you mm -hmm. If you know what I'm saying, like maybe you'll see something that we post. You're like, damn, I never knew something like that was profitable. And then you start looking at other things like that. You know, that's all it'll be also a good. It's a good learning tool. It's going to be based on Facebook. It's not going to be a group where <laughs> where people can interact. It's just going to be posts of bolos, sourcing tips, sorry, sourcing stuff. That's all we're gonna have in there. So people can't post. You're not gonna see people posting boxes of shit. Mm -hmm. like, like you know, I see people standing in front of their boxes. I just sent out 30 boxes. No, no pictures. No pictures of people's cats. No pictures of people's trunks. No pictures of bags from Walmart. No boxes. No Home Depot box shots, Mike. <laughs> 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 no yeah no cat pictures no home depot boxes it's just going to be pictures it's just going to be a uh you know a you know bolo the choice of tips the buy lows yeah that's what we're calling them people you buy them low you buy lows and you buy and that's all it's going to be in the group there's no no bullshit you know what i'm saying it's all about this 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 and this um also with that same group where we're going to be having with that group it's going to be the you know the the buy lows the sourcing tips and we're going to do two like interactive things a month, a month. Mm -hmm. yeah i'm sorry job like my mind's going 100 miles an hour i don't want to skip nothing the buy lows that's what we're calling them and it's, it's either going to be uh zoom and or maybe or spreecast or google hangout depending on how many people in we're going to do two two of those a week where it's interactive with people that to a week, sorry, to a month, mm -hmm. and we're and I don't I don't know if we're going to record those or not. Probably not. 
-hmm. So that's why we're going to do like two a month. So people want to go in, probably find out what, if people was best time for people because we don't really want stuff that we're going to be talking about. Yeah, so I, I was like, I was wondering if you wanted to record them and I, I didn't know for sure. So yeah, Mike said, yeah, we're going to, we probably will record them. Um, but we are going to be doing two of those a month. Um, so in conjunction with that, so, um, I know we're going to go, I, I might want to do something tomorrow. We're going to go more in detail. I don't know if you want to post, post the link, Mike. Sorry, I don't have my glasses on. Let's see what you want. I just want to see what you say. All things. I, I saw you say, yes, we will. So I just assumed you said, yes, we will record them. I had to get closer to look to see what you said. <laughs> 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 you know <laughs> but yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be that and it's just something we start i mean because it's it's mm -hmm. i think we we you know we we offer some value mm -hmm. um we offer some value to, to you know to people you know in in the reseller community i mean mo all of us are we full-time resellers you know um we take care of children you know houses mortgages you know bills real bills you know we're not out here you know you know i'm not trying i'm not dogging nobody but we're not out here like oh just like oh this is so fun you know it's, you know this is just i mean it's fun but i would rather get my information from somebody that i that is doing it full time like me instead of someone that is you know I don't know, doing it for shits and giggles. Yeah. No, Glab does not have assets. No, no, no assets. Ew, no eat seats. <laughs> <laughs> we, we do this because we love you. All of you. <laughs> we do it for the love. The love of the information. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why, I mean, but so, um, yeah, I mean, if you really look into the, uh, the assets, um, it's not really much <laughs> unless you, unless your name is PewDiePie. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. PewDiePie. Uh, if you, unless your name is PewDiePie, you know, it's really just for, I don't know. Is it even gas money you people make on every <laughs> Hell, probably ain't even gas money. No. Crushing it. Yeah, dude. I'm gonna go. Yeah, Cherry got me thinking. I'm gonna go look tomorrow and I'm gonna periscope it and it's gonna look ridiculous at looking through the wicker baskets. Move. <laughs> Man, I should have shipped you the one I had. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be over there like going through them. Everybody be looking at me like I'm crazy. I always thought there was a buyer for everything. I was one of those guys at one time. There's you know, there's a buyer for everything, everything sells. No, not that wicker basket. Nope. <laughs> mm -mm. And apparently not my Pilates DVD either that I've had for almost three years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm never getting rid of that DVD until it sells. It, yeah. Paying the storage fees on it and the long-term storage fee. No, I don't get long-term storage fees. I'm just paying the storage fees every month. Until it sales, I'm never getting rid of that. It's, it's my, it's the, the bane of my existence. <laughs> <laughs> that damn Pilates DVD. Yeah. One day to sell. I'm gonna have a party bill, and I'm gonna call, yeah. gonna call you first. <laughs> <laughs> will the group be capped? Yes, the group will be capped. We don't know exactly what the number will be yet. We want to see what the interest will be. But we're looking to see um, what the you know how many people are interested. But it will be a cap number. It won't be a thousand people in there. It, it probably won't even be over a hundred. You know, to be honest with you, it'll yeah, be, it's gonna, it'll, it'll be, be definitely it'll be a definitely a close mm -hmm. close amount of group of people. Um, mm -hmm. And um, the the uh, what we're doing is we're going to be posting <clears throat> five sourcing items a day. So 25 a week, 100 a month, um, Monday through Friday. On Thursdays, we're going to be like we're talking about, we're going to, be, going to post Amazon and um, Amazon and eBay 
thrift and knives, like a throwback Thursday, that's what we're going to call it. So, you know, if you sell on both, it'll be things that we, we buy, we bought, you know, yep. that, you know, we think that if you could find these at the thrift store too, when you it could be profitable or things you could buy at the thrift store and sell it on Amazon. You know, be like one offs like that. Because a lot of stuff that people, you know, see at thrift stores, they just look it over every day and don't think it, it sells on Amazon. It, it does. Stuff sells mm-hmm. on Amazon. It sells really well, too. Um, and, and that, uh, you know, the Buy Low Depot Facebook page, it's searchable because we're using hashtags with everything. So, for example, if you want, if you were going to Target, you could search Target and see just exactly what the Buy Lows are for target that we have all posted. So we're really trying to streamline it so that it's effective for you guys and things don't just get lost in, you know, in the posts that mm-hmm. we're posting um, of these bylaws. So you're going to be able to check those out in an orderly fashion and make the most of your time with it. So I just want to throw that in there. Yeah. Every, everyone to be, you know, like you want to say, let's say you want to look at, um, all of the Walmart ones, you can hashtag Walmart and all of them will come up mm-hmm. or hashtag Target or hashtag Walgreens, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, like Mike said, we we are we posted a bunch already, you know, to get it rolling. Um, so, I mean, it's already <laughs> probably 100 in there already. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's quite a few in there. It's probably yeah. at least 100 in there. And then, Joe, uh, Joseph, how many are in there right now? <laughs> <laughs> Joseph knows. And then, Scott, what kind of ROI can people anticipate when first, you know, seeing those buy lows? What, uh, range, what range of ROI? And of course, that fluctuates on market it does. And, and all of that. But, um, you know, we're not going to be giving you, you know, 5% ROI items. So no, it, it, um, it, it's going to range. Um, the ones that's in there now, they're pretty high. Some of them are, are, are 100% ROI, which is way more than I've ever seen in any kind of force, any kind of sourcing group. Mm-hmm. Um, but they, they're going to be, they're not going to be super home runs. You know what I'm saying? That's not the purpose of it. These are items that you can find that maybe you can make, you know, you spend, you know, you, you, you double your money, you know, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's, it's, it's not going to be home, super home runs. Cause honestly, you find on your own to grow your mm-hmm. business, you know what I'm saying? But these right. are profitable items that you can go buy tomorrow and add to your Amazon store and start, you know, making money. So right. So yeah, that that's what it is like that. So and we should we should probably clarify that they are two separate groups: mm-hmm. the Buy Low Depot and Pick for Profit. But if you are a member of Pick for Profit, you're also included in the Buy Low Depot. Mm-hmm. So. I just want to make that clarification. So you don't have to be in pick for profit, but you do you do pay a, a fee to be in the buy low depot. If you decide to be in pick for profit, you pay to be in pick for profit. You also get the buy low depot. So we just wanted to make that clear for everybody. Exactly. So yeah, it's uh, it's it's, it's two separate groups unless you get into pick for profit then it's one group <laughs> mm. mm-hmm. <laughs> so I, I mean a lot of thought has gone into all this i mean yeah. there's been you know months of planning and really going about doing this the right way to bring the most benefit to people yet keep it exclusive um so that's a small community and uh people can take advantage of that and you know, be able to help increase the ROI of their business. So that's just something that we really wanted to do to to help people along the way. And uh, there's ab- absolutely no pressure. So, I mean, you guys are really the first ones here to really hear about it. So mm-hmm. we just want to offer that up to you guys to check it out. Talk to Mike Franco at Pick for Profit in the chat. And uh, he will definitely um, help guide you. And uh, if you have any questions for us, you can always ask us too. So definitely. So um, <laughs> Meg says she so Meg Meg is down. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So wrapping it up. 
Oh man, it's, it's 10 03. Wow. I can't believe it. <laughs> what? 10 it goes by so fast. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> That's so fast. So, like I said, um, tomorrow, uh, oh, uh, for I say, is that affiliate program for Pick Profit? That is something that Mike is working on an affiliate program. So, you know, I'm something you got to, yeah, so he, he asked it. It's something he is looking into and working on. So, definitely, um, you know, something, you know, if you keep checking with him about that, because Pick for Profit is like, it's his baby. So, that's something you know, you know he's looking at into that so um so um yeah like i said it's 10 o'clock after 10. thank you for everybody that came in tonight uh everybody checked it out thanks for listening shout out to johnny goodbyes up in the yeah. house can't believe dude came up in here we need to talk man. later man what the hell good to have him stop in dude training camp for hockey opens friday uh, yeah, the, the Hawks are going to be in. Uh, they're going to be at Notre Dame, dude. They, that's what they're training at this year. It'll be a South Bend training this year. So, oh wow, training camp for hockey opens Friday. So I'm super, super stoked. Am I going? I don't. I can't. I can't make it. I don't know. I'm not going to be able to make. It. I thought in Chicago, and uh, Aggie yeah, Kane is going to be there. They just they talked that they did a thing today, and Kane is going to be in training camp. So. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> he is gonna be in training camp. So yeah, hockey starts Friday. <laughs> yeah, hockey's yeah, they got well, hockey see, yeah, hockey. Well, hockey starts uh, training camp starts Friday, so it's just a matter of time. So woo, hockey. But yeah, um so yeah, um anyway, um uh, thanks for coming in, guys. We do really appreciate everybody that's been supporting us, hanging out, you know, doing the blabs with us. Um we'll be back Friday. Bill, are you gonna be around Friday? Yeah, I'll be I'll be around for a little bit. Yep. Yeah on friday you so you've been you've been, you been missing all of all the shenanigans I, on friday i have I, I mean it seems like the the two wild ones i really missed so i mean i mean me and mike we need a we need a we need a common person on the panel when me and him <laughs> on here talking it just goes out into left field every time when it's me and him <laughs> on here talking dude you know what i'm saying uh, <laughs> he go out of control i'm out of control we talk about the craziest <laughs> shit we need we need somebody to keep us you need okay. You need Joseph, yeah, Joseph said he tried. Joseph tried. We need somebody to keep us on path and not go on these crazy conversations. The voice, the voice of reason, right? We definitely, we need, the voice we need a voice of reason on the panel. You oh, know, fun saying? stuff. You know, yeah. we, we just go, we go way into left field. Like me and Mike, we just we we get out here, and we just we we be drinking and talking and just go crazy. <laughs> I mean, are, you talking, are you talking left field, like foul territory? Is that where you're talking? Yeah, foul just territory? We, we, we start on the conversation. Like like Friday, it went from it went from talking about the Cubs to. It just went crazy. The conversation went, <laughs> it went from the Cubs to ugh, it just went way out into left field because it started off talking about the Cubs and then <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the barbershop. It was crazy. It was a crazy conversation. Oh, thank, wow. like I said, thank God it's now in the record. But we need a common person in the chat. I mean, in the blab to be yeah. like, whoa, what the hell are you guys talking about? Then we'd be like, all right, let's bring it in. <laughs> me and mike together we just go too, we go crazy oh, yeah. <laughs> too funny too crazy dude they just go all the way off <laughs> uh, but uh, but i i, I had to do a fence <laughs> no nah, it's like I, I refreshed and then when i came back and ended i sucked i wanted to keep going we, the conversation that got really funny again <laughs> it was so funny. But anyway, yeah. Um, Bill, any last words? <laughs> I just reading these comments just crack me off. Crack me <laughs> up. Fake sign off. Um, okay. Uh, pulling the reins. All right. Uh, last words. Um, you know, Amazon can be done with a hundred dollars don't uh, no matter what your situation is if it's a hundred dollars or it's ten thousand dollars i think the main thing we want to get across tonight is get started Mm -hmm. if you're not with amazon amazon fba get started i mean tonight set up your account you know just like mike said start today it doesn't take long Mm -hmm. set it up and uh you know 
man, begin to research, begin to watch the tutorials. They have a now they have a great tutorial program right there uh, uh, on Amazon. So, you know, I would just encourage you start today and get your first shipment sent in within a week. You know, get get the train rolling. And there's no sense in delaying. So that's my final word. And thank you, everyone, for watching. Yes, thank you, you guys are great. Yeah, just tons of familiar familiar names and uh we really appreciate all of you so thanks again yep thank you guys like i said we will be back friday and then we um i think mike is doing a show on tomorrow night so we'll you know we'll be back mike will be on thursday and then like of course we'll be back friday to do the, the ridiculous friday show and i'll have it posted so you know make sure you guys jump in but Thanks, guys. Bill, it's been a pleasure as always. And everybody, as always, Scott. you guys have a great night. And um, see you guys Friday, <laughs> Thursday and Friday. Friday, Thursday, <laughs> Friday. Check out, make sure to check out Mike's show. Make sure to check it out. All right, guys. Peace. Um, yeah.